All right, so for our first short shot, we are going to be discussing if, in fact, the customer is always right. So we're going to run through some scenarios of challenging customer service and get the Porter Ale guys take on whether these customer wishes should be granted. So, Omar, how about you start? Yeah, so is it ever okay for a large party, say like eight to 10 or more people to split the check every single person has their own it, credit card actually it is and uh we would expect that uh you know the the server going into that situation would ask the large party ahead of time if they're going to be splitting checks so actually i will say you know having been a server my uh you know uh, past experiences that yeah that that's absolutely fine okay, okay and well, usually it's my mother with her eight friends <laughs> <laughs> and they're writing checks <laughs> <laughs> Do people order anything that's like completely other? Like, I want a lasagna. <laughs> like, I want um, hot dogs. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, we have people who add, you know, specific items where they'll take it from all over the menu and put it together. But, you know, we, we, we make it work. Um, asking to sit near a celebrity. If someone walks in and just happens to see Matthew McConaughey chilling at the bar and the request that they can sit right next to him, is the customer right? No. I don't think so. Because sometimes they want to be by themselves and it's, yeah. uh, you know, we do have to get in their space. Um, you know, we'll politely say, you know, that's up to you if you'd like to, but we're not going to demand anyone say like, no, you can't sit no. next to them. Once a customer, uh, once a celebrity leaves, then a customer can go and tackle them if he wants. But while they're in our establishment, we do our best chair. to respect the celebrity mm -hmm. and make sure that it's just handled correctly. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll stop doing that, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> okay. Asking the wait staff if you can tip them with a Bed Bath & Beyond gift card instead of actual money. Is the customer right? I would say the customer is... <laughs> can putting you the server in a confusing <laughs> situation, a but uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, is is the server gonna say no? Probably not. I have this awesome Star Wars action figure that I can give you as thanks for my meal. Do I can tell you right now, we have no associates working for us that would care about a Star Wars action figure, so that would be no. Do you take gold bullion? I am a super villain. Uh, <laughs> is it ever okay not to tip if you have a terrible experience? Uh, the service is bad, the food is bad, everything about the experience um, was unpleasant. Is it ever okay just not to tip? Absolutely. I think there are times where it's okay not to tip. I think those times would need to be revolved around the server themselves. If there's a long ticket time for food and that comes from back of house, I don't think that should be taken out on the front of house server. And I think the world would agree with me on that if they've ever had a serving position. Um, if the server was never present, if the server got the order wrong, the server did not apologize, the server just could care less, then the server needs a lesson. You know, It's not okay to tip 20% when the server did a horrible job, but make sure it's the server's job. Right, sometimes like the response from customers is like they look at the waiter with such disdain in their eyes when they don't like their food, like you cooked this wrong. Yeah, I can assure you that I'm the owner, <laughs> not the server, and uh, they can they can blame me, not, uh, not anyone else. Well, that is more than fair. Uh, listeners, be nicer. <laughs> Treat your restaurant people nice because they are working very hard for you. Yeah, if you have any points of etiquette for restaurants, tweet us, twitter.com slash statesmanchats. Mm -hmm.